We're gonna be firing suns at everything. Look at this. This is my gun that fires suns. How's it going, everybody? My name is Finpoint, and we're back. We're playing Universe Sandbox 2. You guys asked me to do a bunch of stuff with some black holes, so that's what we're going to be doing in this video. First, I'm going to be pelting some things at Earth, though, very, very fast. So we're going to do that in a moment. I'm really keen to suck some things into some black holes. It's going to be loads of fun. But you guys are probably wondering, what's this on my head? <laughs> it's not a futuristic toaster, as delicious as that would be. This is actually a Pimax VR headset. Pimax sent me a headset. They told me to test it out and see how it compared with the Vive. So I'm gonna just sort of be mentioning how uh, how this headset is just while we play this game. I can already tell you straight away that it feels a little bit lighter than the Vive Pro. Not as comfy around the face, but it definitely feels lighter. Okay, so what I want to do with Earth here is I want to smack some stuff into it. Now I've, I've hit it with like little planets and things like that before, but I want to hit it with an asteroid really, really fast. <laughs> like, you know, like, uh, basically like light speed kind of fast, just to see what happens. I want to see if it just tears it apart. So let's go SSO. I don't know what SSO stands for. What's SSO? Is that, is that like small, I want to say small celestial object, but celestial is with a C. <laughs> so that, that can't be it. What's this one? 2015 something. 2015 BZ. That stands for, uh, broken zebra. Bang. That's what happens. When a tiny little meteorite or asteroid or whatever they are, you guys will probably correct me in the comments how dumb I am. That's what it does. It just burns up. It doesn't do a great deal of damage. What happens though if you crank the speed up so it becomes like a bullet? Here we go. Manual. Alright, so that was at like three kilometers per second or something. Let's like bang this bad boy all the way up here to like... <laughs> What was that 200,000 kilometers per second? That's crazy. All right, let's pick the same one. So that was 2015's BZ509, whatever the heck that is. Sounds pretty awesome. Let's smack Earth with this one. Boar! Whoa! Did you see that? It just painted that side of the Earth in lava. <laughs> is that what that is? Is that what lava is? I have no idea. But that is pretty crazy. All right, let's get this side. Oh, I'm gonna wait for it to spin. All right, I'm gonna wait for it to spin around. Something else I am noticing between this and the Vive Pro is that it's like got a much wider field of view. So I feel like I'm actually sucked more into like the VR than I am with the Vive Pro, which is pretty awesome. There's a little bit of a whoop. <laughs> and now it's all glowy orange. There is a little bit of a weird distortive effect when I move my head around, I feel like I'm in a fishbowl, which definitely isn't as good as the Vive. You don't get that effect with the Vive. All right. Oh, look at that. There's a section there that I missed. One minute. Boom. That is cool. So what happens if we hit it again? It just keeps going. Is it getting like hotter and hotter? No. Why is it not getting hotter? It's glowing red, yet it's like the same temperature. Let's up the ante a little bit. All right. Let's make this thing go faster. 8.9 light speed faster. All right. Bang. It's still the same. It's just doing the same thing. Okay, we need something bigger then. Something way bigger. What's this? What's Eris? Who is Eris? Kublammy! It's spinning really fast now. <laughs> and it's just still the same temperature. All right, I'm just going to keep shooting them. It's so fast, you can't even see it hit it. You want to play that game. I'll hit you with something you can't handle. The sun. This is now my sun gun, all right? That's right. We're gonna be firing suns at everything. That was one of the ideas that I wanted to do for this video. Yes! The sun is so big. All right. Can you handle the sun earth? I don't think you can, given that it's, it's all the way back there now. I'm just gonna fire the sun at the earth. Bang! It's gone. It is so gone. That's pretty cool. Look at this. This is my gun that fires suns. Now I need to get something to fire these suns at. I thought I would get a solar system. So let's get a solar system up. So this is a solar system. And this has loads and loads of detail. Now, I'm gonna tell you, the detail is actually a lot clearer in this headset than a Vive Pro. I've got my sun gun. Here we go. How fast 
Is it gonna fire some suns? Whoa! It just fires suns like crazy. I think it's firing them too fast. I might slow it down a little bit. 4,000 kilometers per second. Oh, that's better. See that? We just moved Earth off its, like, little orbit. You can see the trails. That's why I've left trails on. So you can actually see the trails of the orbits. Bang! Look at that. I changed its orbit again. <laughs> there goes Earth. Stupid Earth. Go straight. Let's see if we can take it out. What is that? Is that Earth? Oh, Earth's just ping-ponging all over the place. Let's see if we can make Earth actually go towards the sun. Oh, come back this way. Earth's gone. I just hit Earth. Oops. Okay. Hey, look at that. Even the sun is now moving. We threw the sun off its own little thingy. Let's see if we can actually hit the sun. Oh, missed it. Oh, missed it again. Bang! There it is. Supernova. That is so cool, man. That is awesome. Look at that. Look at all the stuff that went flying out. Oh, there's all the suns that I was firing as well. That looks so cool. That is, that was one awesome supernova. Okay, let's go back in. I'm gonna zoom it all the way down here. There we go. This actually, this game runs a lot smoother. Like, normally I get a few frame jitters and stuff on my Vive. This is running a little bit smoother, which is good. It's hurting my nose, though. <laughs> I feel like my nose is gonna fall off. Let's get a biggest... Oh, I wonder what's the biggest planet that we can make. Okay, I've just made a random rocky planet. How big is this planet? Uh, it's not very big. It's 44 moons. That's not big. All right, let's make this thing big. Let's hit it with 18 Earths of iron. Like this. Wow. Yeah, now it's getting big. <laughs> it's now set the size of seven Jupiters. I'm making the biggest planet I can, all right? Whoa, look at that. Okay, now it's a gas. It's a gas planet. It was a, uh, it was a rocky planet, now it's a gas planet. I'm sorry about that. It's still growing. Uh, I think it's gonna get really hot. Okay, let's hit it with some silicate. Whatever that is. Come on, we gotta get back to being rocky. Oh, look at that! It's starting to go red! Why is it going red? Oh, no. <laughs> it's going super red! It's the size of 68 Jupiters. Keep it going. Oh, it's a sun! <laughs> oh, it's a star. We made a star! Oops! Don't you hate it when you just accidentally make a star? Isn't that the worst? How does that compare to our own sun? That is so hard to look at, it's hurting my eyes. It's still not even as big as our own sun. What? Okay. I wonder if we can orbit our sun around that. Alright, auto-aim. Bang. Is it doing it? I can't tell. <laughs> Where is it going? I don't even know if you can orbit- no, no, it's sucking it in. Oh, we're about to get another supernova. There it is! Accidental supernova. Now, here is something cool I found on the workshop. That's right, this game has a workshop where you can download some really cool stuff that people have made. Someone called Blue Marble made this terraformed Jupiter. This is Jupiter! Look at that! It says it right there. Jupiter. It's 14 degrees. That's pretty damn good. I'd live there. And it's got like forests and stuff. It's basically a big fat earth with rings, which is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little moon. Let's give this thing a moon. Why isn't it moving? Oh, play. Move. Yeah, there we go. All right, hey, where'd it go? Where'd all the land go? It just disappeared. The land is gone. As soon as I hit play, the land just, I don't know, it vanished under all the ocean. It's now a water planet, it's water world with Kevin Costner. All right, I'm gonna spin one around this way as well. Bang. Hey, that looks cool. I wonder if they're gonna crash together, these little moons. Oh, they're going round. Will they crash? Come on. I wonder, they gotta get pretty close to crash. Oh, oh. That was pretty close. Feels like waiting for the DVD symbol to hit the bottom corner. <laughs> That's what it feels like. You know on the DVD screensaver? It's exactly what it feels like. Stack of moons. Go on. We're gonna get a collision now, surely. I, I just wanna destroy this imposter of a planet. You're no Earth. Oh, man. I feel like we're getting really close to a collision, but it hasn't happened. I think we might need to speed it up. Are you serious? No moon collisions. Let's speed it up really fast. Oh, something happened. Maybe. 
No, no, there we go. All right, yeah, we destroyed it. <laughs> okay, now we have a really hot planet with a little bit of Earth. And when I mean Earth, I mean forest. Shush, I know what I mean. All right, let's orbit some Venuses around there as well. Just a stack of Venuses. Oh, there goes that Venus. Hey, now we have oceans again. Cool. Oh, it's getting bigger. Hey, we're at 19 degrees. <laughs> it looks like a planet at like some kind of crazy nuclear war going on. Look how big actual Jupiter is. Okay, let's orbit a Jupiter around our fake Jupiter. Go. Oh man, that is cool. I'm gonna jump on it. Let me stand here. Wow, look at that. So I'm monitoring this Jupiter at the moment, which is getting super hot. It's getting really hot. And we're going around this one. Oh, we're are we gonna hit it? I can't tell. This is weird as heck. Ow, my nose. My nose is hurting. There is some stuff that I like. There's definitely some stuff that's better than the Vive, but there's stuff that the Vive does better as well. That looks so weird. Keep going. Oh, what's gonna happen? It's gonna smash, isn't it? Uh, no, it's all the way back here. Oh, here comes Jupiter. It's gonna hit it. It's gonna hit it. Oh, so close. Oh, we're leaving Jupiter behind. See you, Jupiter. <laughs> Good job, fake Jupiter. Okay, it's time to do some stuff with black holes. Let's do it. Let's get an Earth, right, and just suck Earth into a black hole. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Let's get an Earth. I'm gonna do it slowly, okay? Let's just shrink it down, shrink it right down, make it nice and easy to see, and we want Earth just to be sort of fairly still. Okay, I'll put, I'll put it like this. Like that, just so it's nice and- Hey! There's Australia! That's where I live. I live right about there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that section of light. That's where I live. Now let's get a black hole, right? Not a small one. Let's get black hole 100. What is that? Oh, cool. Looks like a black marble. All right, let's put black hole right here, just next to it. Bang. Let's have a look at this black hole. Whoa. It's 100M sun. What does that mean? Does that mean it's got like 100 times the force of the sun or something? I don't know. Oh, look at that! Whoa! It's like it... Oh, my face. My face is getting sucked in. <laughs> that is so cool, man. It's like on a movie when they show a black hole and it looks like this weird reflective, hard to see marble. That's crazy. All right, I'm gonna move that over that way. Okay. And I want to suck the earth in really slow. Okay, play. W what? That was supposed to be slow. Earth is straight. <laughs> it's just straight up gone. I slowed everything down so much. All right, I think we need to slow it down more. Like really slow. Okay. Whew. Where's that black hole? All right, black hole's there. It's really hard to see. I don't even know if you guys can see it. Raise your hand if you can. <laughs> All right, let's get an earth. All right, it's, it's gonna be still. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here. Oh, 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 it's moving now. It's moving. It's moving towards the black hole. I'm gonna look at it from this side. Okay, that's really hard to see from that side. Okay. It just, it vanishes. Where does it even go? Are you in there? Are you in there, Earth? Let's have a look. Are you in there somewhere? It looks so empty and strange. Did it, did it get any bigger? I can't tell. Let's go versus the sun. It's just our own sun, right? That's so big. All right, here we go. Black hole versus our sun. All right, I'm going to put the sun there. Oh, that's so bright. What is that thing? I think it's just a chunk of space garbage. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going to assume the black hole is... Oh, it's right there. I can see it. Okay. Is it moving towards it? We might need to speed time up a little bit. All right, slow down, slow down. There we go. Okay. So, there's the black hole, right, and you can see stuff getting sucked off the sun <laughs> into the black hole. It's happening. It's totally happening. Whoa, and there's some stuff happening over this side as well. Like, it's getting all cloudy. You know what I mean? Like, the sun grew some clouds or something. Okay, it's about to touch. I don't know if you guys can see that. There is a little speck right there, a little black hole speck. What's go It's gone. 
Where does it even go to? There's some cloud left behind, but that's it. The black hole just swallows it up like it's nothing. Okay, let's ramp things right up. What's the biggest, the biggest star that we have here? I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking at these and it's really hard to tell. Let's get a sun. All right, just a sun for reference. Wow, so blinding every time. There's Arcturus is pretty big. All right, whoa. Okay, let's shrink it down even more. Rigel is even bigger. Bang. There, the sun is there, by the way. That's our sun. That there is Rigel. That's... Pff, man, I didn't I didn't even want to hang out in that solar system. Bolognese? Does that say Bolognese? Oh, be Bellet Geese. Okay. What? That's not a real star. <laughs> well, I thought Rigel was massive. Where's our sun? Our sun's there. This is, this is bolognese. So big. Man, that's some, that's a big spaghetti. that is. Do they get bigger? Okay, Antares is pretty big. All right. That's a pretty big star. Looks a lot like bolognese. Doesn't it? I'm just gonna shrink all that down. So this is V.Y. Canis Majoris. And that's even bigger yet. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go with that one. Okay, Canis I just I threw it away. So I want to do the biggest star that I can find in here versus the biggest black hole Just to see what happens. Let's put that there. It's very bright as you can see Okay, that is the biggest star That I have that I could find in this game. They could be bigger. I'm not searching through all of them I don't know their names black hole 10k Black hole 1, black hole 10. Oh, that's big. That is a big black hole. If you consider how big the other one was compared to just our sun, and this was the biggest star I could find. Okay, I'm going to put this black hole about here, all right? Bang. I just put it there. Wait, what? <laughs> it's so hard to look at. What is even going on with this black hole? If I go in here, am I going to find Matthew McConaughey? Is that what's going to happen? It's so dark and spooky. Well, it's gone. <laughs> Too much. And it's gone. It just sucked it in there so quick. And it's just like a puff of smoke is gone. Like a magician made it vanish. It's like a really hungry person. <laughs> it's the consumer of worlds and consumer of 20 pack of nuggets. What about a black hole versus a black hole? Can you do that? Uh, I can't see that. Okay, here we go. Pause it. Slow it down. All right, black hole. Another black hole. Just two black holes next to each other. All right. Slow play. They just disappeared. <laughs> they cancel each other out. And it's it's weird. It's like it's like dividing by zero or googling Google. It's just gone. So that's what happens when you combine some stuff with black holes. If you know anything else you'd like to see me combine with a black hole, let me know in the comments. But thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give us one of these ones, and I'll see you guys next time.